Today we're talking about pivotal points, these pivotal moments. We can all remember moments of time where we find ourselves in this um, experience where we are being kind of like catalysted forward, where we may not recognize it at the moment of the experience, but we definitely can um, all relate to looking like internally or even like in retrospect to these these experiences. They're not really like a crossroad, but it's really what I would call a pivotal moment. These pivotal points where they're the catalyst for change. These are the catalyst moments that really propel us into the future. And they really force us into a higher level of consciousness, a a more mature and spiritual, you know, understanding of where we're at. And so today I'm going to share about one of my own experiences of a pivotal time. And I hope that by me sharing can really help provide you value or insider perspective. So one of my own experiences that I did find for me as one of the catalysts in my own, you know, growth and development was I came to a point where I no longer needed or wanted or desired um, to be understood. And not even just by like anybody, because I never needed that level. But, you know, when it comes to family and close friends, there was there was many times where I just wanted them to really understand me and understand my level of awareness, where I'm coming from, or, you know, it could be on any topic or subject. I wanted them to know kind of where I was. And <clears throat> that was for me personally, a defining moment, a pivotal point where I let go of that desire. I let go of that desire. And I don't know at what point or how I came to that. I really believe that for me in my own experience, that it was just, um, just very spiritual or, you know, the growth of my soul and consciousness and kind of where I was with my own evolution that, um, <clears throat> I just, even with like, yes, the most intimate of people that I have in my circle close to me, I let go of that idea. I let go of them ever um, understanding me. Now, I'm not saying that no one ever understood me. That's not what I'm saying. But what I'm saying is it's that the, like, like that desire that you want people who you love and respect and that you hold so close to relate to you, to understand you or to 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 be in their wavelength and even people that you think are close to that wavelength I've had to really you know surrender and come to terms with you can't even expect or desire that as well you just can't of course we want to we want to believe and trust and hope and hold that like space that they can get there but that's not their responsibility it's just not And what is within our own responsibility, our own control is just to really be at peace with who we are within ourselves, with or without anyone else's understanding, um, removing that level of like desire was really like peaceful internally for me. So yeah, for me, that was a very pivotal point in my own um, experience. And and I'm sure that this will come across appropriately and resonate with those who understand. By no means am I even saying on a very lower level vibration that I'm seeking for other people's approval. I'm referring to something beyond that. I don't seek anyone's approval on that level. To be... In the position where you want to be understood by those you love, the ones that you trust, the ones that you've, you know, created long relationships with. That is what I'm referring to. When you are when you seek that because you have a a higher level of understanding, that is what I had to surrender to. And and I had to just come to terms with my own self and say, <clears throat> even those I love the most. I may not ever be able to get them on the wavelength that I'm on. Even those who are, you know, intelligent, even those who are operating from, you know, 
decently high levels of consciousness. So it's not about seeking something for just external satisfaction. I'm referring to a much deeper and higher level when um, when you can just really learn to come to come and be at peace with <clears throat> wherever you're at is perfectly fine. And it's not about where you are in the process. It's just really about not desiring to get anybody, right, to understand every level of depth that you have. And I know that we want to because we are human beings and that's just in our nature. It's just it's just part of the human experience. And so, yes, it was a very amazing and beautiful um, pivotal point. I would probably best classify this experience for me as the most liberating. And I've had a handful of moments in my life where I can count on one hand these liberating experiences, and this was definitely one of them. I would say that it's probably this pivotal point for me, um, experiencing this now for, you know, a couple of years, it continues to really perpetuate itself and it continues to really, like I said, push you further. It's like a catalyst. It's It continues to like propel you into such higher levels of awareness that there is nothing that's going to hold your mindset back. There's nothing, even the most intimately personal experiences or even the most insignificant ones on, on, on whatever the like wavelength of the spectrum you're on or operating from, this can apply to you, right? So regardless of your level of awareness or consciousness, this is still, I I think a value add. That's why I'm sharing my own personal experiences. Um, this was my pivotal point that really set me free. I no longer cared on any wavelength. I mean on any wavelength, anything. And I don't mean it to be ugly or arrogant. It was an internal certainty, an internal like knowingness that had to become for me. Like it was a developing it was a process that I could not have even like asked for and that's why everyone's experience will be different and and as you go along your as you go along your journey you'll you'll come to your own pivotal points that will really be the catalyst for your own change for your own growth for your own soul's development and for me that was my experience um, I've had many pivotal points I mean, like I said, there's there's a couple of main ones that I can count on one hand, and I wanted to share this one because I, I really believe that this is something that can be relatable. I really believe that people will resonate with this information, even if they're not, you know, at the same experience of me, that's really irrelevant. It's It's really to just set the tone and just show people that we have these moments that can really be pivotal and liberating, set you free from judgment. And that's amazing. Now, on other levels of the spectrum, um, this can present itself for you in different ways. So I will give other examples so that um, this can be applied you know, from different levels of consciousness. If you find yourself needing to always defend yourself or justify your experiences or it can even show up as how you, you know, protect yourself or how you validate yourself. These are similar experiences that are on this wavelength. And if so, if you find yourself in those elements, then that would be a clear sign to me that you know, um, surrender to who you are. It's the best thing that you can do for yourself. You know, once you know who you are and you are so internally certain and grounded and, and real and like just in alignment, in alignment, 
nothing um, can shake that kind of like certainty. Nothing can shake that foundation. And when you can get yourself to that experience, yes, <laughs> you enter a whole new ball game, and you are able to then operate from a new, you know, a new paradigm, a new platform, a new realm of experience. And yeah, this it's it's unlimited and it's growth and it's um yeah liberating. So now that I've shared my <laughs> experience um on pivotal moments, these pivotal points that we all face, please I want to hear about pivotal points and moments that you have faced that were very defining that really set you further in the in the in the trajectory that you're going tell me about your experience i want to know <laughs> and we can all learn from all of us sharing and learn to be comfortable about being vulnerable and and trusting that we all have something to offer, not minimizing our truth, and yeah, showing up for all of us here.